Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my new location where will be my future new workshop. Uh, now, just before I show you the current state that it is in, or actually what uh, my wife and I have been doing for the last two days, um, I will show you the, the shop and everything, uh, at least the current state and what I'm planning to do. Uh, and I'll try to film as best I can the, the progress and everything but just bear in mind that I have a sort of a time crunch and also I have to move this really quickly uh, make it um, usable shop so I can get back to work and now just before I show you the the shop and everything uh, I want to thank you all for your support the the kind words and everything from the last video um, and I read through them all uh, I just can't physically answer all of them so uh, excuse me on that but again I'll read through all of them and I just want to thank you all for your support and uh, your patience in terms of the signature tool and everything so uh, at the moment this is the priority to just move the shop to sort of a state that it's usable and uh, maybe a little step above that i'll see how much time i have uh, but I, right after that uh, the next priority will be the the refiner and getting that on the pre-order so uh, you will be able to buy it so now again i'll try to film the best i can the, the sort of a progress but i often forget about the camera and everything uh, when i'm in, a, in my zone when i'm working and i usually when i bite to to work i usually work like 12 hours minimum so i just need to get it done uh, so I can move the shop so and uh, without any further ado I'll show you the the shop the current state and uh, don't freak out it's a lot of mess right now uh, it's not actually a lot of mess inside the shop as much on the outside where tomorrow uh, there should be a crew coming in to pick all of the the rubbish and everything out of the way so again thank you all for your support uh, from the last video all lovely comments and everything so uh, let me show you the shop so this is my new workshop or will be my new workshop uh, now uh, this is quite an old structure i'm 33 years old and it's been here since i since the day i remember the first memory this was here uh, so pretty much maybe even older than me um, it's a like i said old structure but the skeleton of it it's quite good it's a metal frame uh, with a sheeting on the outside metal sheeting on the outside um, doesn't have any uh, sort of a um, um, rust or anything like that or major rust nothing that can't be taken care of and uh, the roof is on this one here quite okay on this one it needs to be changed but luckily I have the material for that uh, that I prepared for the other shop and now this was here this area here with a different pitched roof was originally a drying clothes room um, it's never been used for that that was the original purpose I believe but it's never been used for that and uh, you see here second door this little uh, square section uh, it's a little bit bigger than this one here uh, was original workshop for uh, for my uh, late uncle and this taller structure here is for smoking meat and the neighbor has one pretty much every house here has one and uh, just to show you all of this a rubbish here was inside these two uh, areas and uh, if I not sure if, if I try to squeeze that in now I'm pretty sure I won't be able to fit it in so I'm not sure how that all fit inside uh, so to, tomorrow uh, the crew is coming that should take care of all of that so I have a clean slate here uh, stuff for the uh, roofing panels here uh, OSB uh, panels as well boards and uh, stuff like that so I have a room to to manipulate the, the stuff and uh, now we can go uh, down there uh, to show you a little bit on the close-up uh, the shop and uh, actually just before that just to show you the Sun is quite high still so there is a lot of glare but we live in a lovely lovely place so now we are in front of the shop and uh, you can see the rubbish on my left it's tall as i'm and i'm six feet tall and you can see that's quite a lot of junk here uh, so let's go inside here 
Camera quality won't be probably all that great because I'm using ultra wide lens to get this all in one shot. So uh, this is roughly uh, two and a half meters wide by uh, three meters uh, three meters long. So uh, not not big space, but should be en enough. And I have two windows here. One is under this panels here. Um, again. Uh, this right next to this wall here is another workshop so I'll be probably making a through pass here so I have a direct um, step into another shop so I don't have to go all the way uh, around so I need to make a door here for the entrance so you can see this was just left like this and uh, I need to take care of that now that this little room here that you can see door here uh, it's a small let's say cubby room something like that uh, but it's a big enough size I think should fit the dust collector inside so I could run the ducks uh, where I need on the inside so all of this again needs to be removed along with all of this uh, junk here so um, again so I have enough clean slate here so I can start working on the inside as well after changing the roof on that workshop there so uh, there will be going um, probably the the wool the stone wool or some sort of isolation on walls and the ceiling here and the OSB uh, boards and uh, that should be enough for the for the shop here so let me just go around and I'll show you the other shop as well sorry about the poor camera quality the video quality I'm again using the ultra wide lens so I can get the, the most stuff in the in the frame uh, so again all of this all of that the junk <laughs> was inside here on the shelves and everything it was you, you could only walk here and a little bit to this corner here of the of this bench here so my wife and I cleaned everything out and uh, so to show you here where the roof collapsed so all of the roof panels like I said needs to be changed most of these boards here are okay uh, but these are rotten away so all of these need to go um, the metal structure uh, is luckily okay there are a few um, surface rust like this uh, but all of that can be taken care of so uh, this is the wall that's facing the other workshop that you saw in a in a minute ago and uh, we have here a control panel the, the electric electric panel whatever it's called on english um, and the door will probably be somewhere from this post here to like, like so and uh, a walkway through let's say so a little step here and uh, I do have this post right in the middle um, but I think I can work around that without any problem so uh, this bench will remain it's a sort of a memory from my again late uncle and I think I'm going to keep it and we have a big end so uh, all of the electricity here is quite good uh, although I'll strip everything down and uh, start again uh, the way I want so uh, this panel here is again I've never seen it been changed or upgraded by any means so and um, I'll probably take it down and uh, again distribute the the sockets the switches and everything throughout the shop where i need them to be and to my desire and everything so it can be used the way i want so um, that's for this uh, this shelf here was originally as well my late uncle made that so i'm going to keep it it's a quite nice shelf for bowls or tools or whatever and uh, quite conveniently I'm not sure not sure what he made from this but um, it will be a great stand for a grinder so and uh, I could probably fit two grinders on each side um, so maybe have a, a roughing for the rough shaping of my let's say future signature gouges and one for the final sharpening or stuff like that so that's keeping here as well so 
again, uh, oh, forgot to show, we have a big window here. Just open it up. Again, this structure is over 30 years old and pretty much everything functions. It does need a little love, but, and this brackets here as well that he made. I'm going to keep those. So yeah, a lot of work still ahead, um, but I'm just glad to see all of the rubbish gone and, um, you know, just to start from the clean paper so I um, don't have the stuff tripping over and uh, stuff like that. And uh, this little, um, did you see here, a little window and this cubby here. So that's the those little doors on the right um, from that previous part of the shop that you saw. So I could run the duct work here if the lathes work here or um, bandsaw or any other machine. I'm not sure yet about the layout of the machines. I still have to, again, put the um, uh, isolation and OSB here and on the walls as well so there are a lot of uh, work still here to, to be do uh, to, to get it done and um, then I'll see the, the layout that I have and um, sort of uh, rearrange the best way I think uh, that will flow in my work um, environment let's say so and uh, just to show you here in the continue of the workshop so here is that for the smoking meat here that you see and uh, here I, we have this low um, it's covered and everything so what we'll probably do here is store uh, rough materials so like uh, logs there is one here not sure what it is uh, but I can make something out of that uh, this post here needs to be either bolted down or taken care of so it does support something but uh, by the look of it it did rot it away but it, the structure didn't collapse or anything sag so uh, might not even need that one here so um, like slabs or anything like that logs I can store here and it will be covered and everything but there will be some air circling around so should be quite good and um, in the winter time I could even store bowls here um, because it is opened and I can close maybe two areas uh, the, or three areas let's say and just have one area that will flow air and that should work quite lovely for the drying room uh, although again I have all of this uh, smoker here that I could convert with the shelvings and everything for the bowls inside so still not sure uh, we'll see about that but it's a it's a work in progress and um, so far two days in my wife and I did tremendous work I, I, I should say cleaning this out and again I'm, I'm just sorry that I didn't take the before picture but you can imagine all of that stuff inside here uh, again you could not step inside other than here and a little bit to this corner of the bench everything else was flooded here so yeah it's a it's a new adventure and actually i'm quite looking forward to it because i could get this again from this slate from the clean beginning from the um, very start I could arrange this to my liking and uh, get the stuff that I want here and the layout as well and everything so should work out really really beautifully so um, I'll show you the, the progress in a few days as well uh, post and let me know if you like this kind of um, content and if you would like to see more so again in a few days I'll keep you updated what's been done and um, maybe even take a few uh, footage of what I'm doing so yeah and uh, you can see by the color of my face probably uh, we've been on on, a, on the sun quite a lot and uh, yeah it's uh, quite hot summer this this year and uh, I actually do need a little advice uh, from you that have a uh, hot summers how do you keep your shop cool down it doesn't have to be uh, cold or anything like that but just few degrees cooler than the outside let's say uh, I know a lot of the um, isolation will help out obviously 
uh, but it, I don't have a thermometer, but I would say it's around 35 degrees here. It's uh, pretty much hotter than it's it's on the outside. So you can see I'm sweating and everything. Um, so if you have any advice on that, uh, it's much appreciated. Um, I don't like the, what's it called? Um, uh, you know the, the the appliances that cool the the, the rooms uh, in the house or anything we call it klima but not sure on the english how it say it, how you say it I could put it let's say onto this wall here and let it uh, blow the cold air um, through the through way here through door uh, through the other shop and that could work but i want to avoid um, getting you know the cold shop in the in the summer or, or um, I don't like the the major difference in in temperature uh, not so much because of the health but the balls uh, actually do don't like that kind of a change in um, in the temperature and humidity as well so um, yeah uh, fans maybe um, maybe a ceiling fan or anything although it's quite low here I don't want to raise my hand and uh, touch the the propeller um, but yeah uh, whatever piece of advice you have it's uh, much appreciated and also on the outside what I'm planning is probably paint uh, the in white um, to sort of reflect a little bit of sunlight um, not sure if it will help but we can't do any mu much worse let's say uh, so probably in, a, in that sort of a light color I'll paint the outside to sort of reflect the sun heat a little bit and uh, again a little piece of advice if you have to keep it cool in, in a summer uh, should be great so again thank you for all your support thank you for um, kind words in the last video and again i read through all of them just can't physically answer all of them with the time that i have so uh, thank you for watching and again let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this sort of update video on the workshop uh, sort of a workshop saga let's call it um, so if you like that kind of content and again I'll, I'll try to film it as much as i can uh, but i just want to get it done and uh, again i'll i want to keep you posted let's say in every three days four days uh, to see the progress and everything so uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video